Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In Money Stocks. Today is May 30th, 2018. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, looking at this market, we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading up by 10.5 points to 27.02 and three quarters per contract. All in all, the futures have caught a big bid in the overnight session. And you can see they pulled back ever so slightly here, but nonetheless, they are up 10 points ahead of the opening bell today. So we'll see if this market can hold these gains and build upon them. Otherwise, we'll see if uh, markets do come back out and have a little bit of fear out here. We did have Italian auctions go off this morning. They went off without a hitch. I wonder who was buying those bonds, but nonetheless, they did go off without a hitch. So we'll leave it at that, and we'll see how this market plays out today. But in the meantime, we have lots of stocks in the news, and let's get started right there. First stock we're going to take a look at today is going to be CRM, which is Salesforce. Great move here. The stock is trading at $133.18, closed at $126.88 yesterday. This is on the back of earnings, this move. So all in all, we want to respect it. Again, it gets to around 137, 138. I think it's getting a little top heavy and extended at that level. But right now, it's holding up fine. If you own it, trail the stop loss. If you don't own it, leave it alone at this stage of the game. There's really not a whole lot to do here. We'll look at this one once the opening bell rings in the intraday stock chat room. Next up, we want to take a look at Dick's Sporting Goods. DKS is the ticker symbol there. This stock has had an amazing run as well. It was all over the map this morning, but nonetheless, right now it's trading at $37.85. I'm going to have some gap fade levels here for this name, though. So again, if you want to trade alongside of us, come on over, take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. We're having a great 2018. Check it out. You can trade right with us, but I'm going to have some gap levels for this one this morning. Stock has had a good, good pop, closed at $30.48. Now trading just underneath that 38 level. Again, I'll have some good levels for us all ready to go once the opening bell rings. Next up here, we want to take a look at MOV, which is good old Movado Group. Stock right now is trading at 47.05, closed at around 42.20. This also should be getting towards a good resistance point here. If you take a look at, well, let's just pull up a monthly chart. Uh, what you're going to see here <clears throat> is that we have a lot of resistance around that 45 to 47 level. So, again, it is having a good, good pop this morning. If you own it, trail the stop loss immediately. If you don't own it, I would leave it alone at this stage of the game. But again, this is a stock that rarely trades a million shares. On average, I'm going to say it probably trades around 250, 350,000 a day. Maybe even a little bit less than that. But um, again, good little pop around 47 to 48. There should be very, very good resistance in play. But it's a hard stock to pick to the penny. So we kind of just leave that alone. But if you own it, trail the stop loss. If you don't own it, leave it alone at this stage of the game. Let's take a look at HPQ. This is Hewlett Packard Inc. Uh, HPQ right now trading at 2240, closed at 2130. So good little uptick there. I'm not going to make too much out of it. It could run up to the $23 level. I don't really see it getting much above that area. So again, uh, we'll keep it on the radar today. We'll see where it goes, but I don't really see this getting much above 23 if it even gets there. So again, be a little bit careful with it, but there's not a whole lot that I'm looking to do at the, uh, at the open here with HPQ. Let's take a look at DSW. I will have gap levels ready for this. Nice little... Uh, Pop off the lows, actually. So this was all the way down when I looked at it at 23.50. It's now come back to 25. So we'll see how this plays out. But I will have levels for this one if it does fall. And again, they look pretty decent for some trades. So again, we'll keep it on the radar. But right now, the stock has rebounded up a little bit off of its morning lows, which was around 23.50. Now back to the $25 level. Again, the stock closed at 26.07. So you got a little bit of a haircut at the moment. But it was down decently. And again, not a whole lot of volume moving this so again this can go all over the map today so be a little bit careful with it but i'll have some levels posted up in the intraday stock chat room once the opening bell rings next up we want to take a look at michael kors k-o-r-s is the ticker symbol here this is trading at 64.50 uh closed at 68.22 so this is um this has got a nice little haircut in here as well i'm gonna have some levels for us in this name and uh, they'll be posted up in the intraday stock chat room as well. Uh, right now, though, it's not all down all that much. About, uh, I guess, about four points or so. But again, um, 
We'll see where this one goes. Just a little while ago, this was all the way up at 67. Now it's back down here at 64.55. So, again, it's all over the map. But a uh, level I would keep on the radar right off the bat today um, would be around that $55 area. I don't know if it gets down there, but that's a level I do like a lot if it does get around to that level. So keep that on the, uh, on the radar, but I'll try to have some levels posted up if we need them for Michael Kors today. All right, let's switch gears here a little bit. Let's go over to the gold market. Gold is up $2.20. So if you take a look at the GLD, which is a good gold ETF to track the movement in the spot price, you'll see this is trading at 123.38, closed at 123.19. When gold is getting a little bit of a bid, that usually means the dollar is a little bit weaker. And sure enough, that is the case today. The dollar coming down. Dollar almost hit 95 yesterday. Right now, trading at 94.24. So again, dollar pulling back a little bit. That is giving a little bump to gold. And then when you'd like to take a look at crude oil today, we have that up as well. Crude oil right now trading up 37, 38 cents to $67.11. If you take a look at the USO, which is a good ETF to track the movement in spot crude, that's trading at 13.58 this morning. Again, spot crude at 67.10 right now at this moment uh bond yields right now catching a pretty good uh bid uh they're trading back to 2.844 percent so 2.844 percent yesterday they, i believe they were at 2.842 so uh they're up just a touch and we'll see how they play out today all right i'm going to leave this here short and sweet i want to wish everybody a great trading day if you haven't done so come on over take that seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat room uh, again, it's been an amazing 2018. We're going to look to keep that going. With that being said, everybody, have a great, great session, and we will see you on the charts.